Hello everyone, my name is Chen Shu Wu. I'm an assistant research scientist from the University of Maryland. Today I'm going to present our work, MSense, towards mobile material sensing with a single millimeter wave radio. Material sensing could be useful for many applications. For example, it can facilitate household waste sorting, which are sometimes difficult to distinguish, and can detect in-home leakage. It can help robots to adjust their behaviors with the awareness of target materials. An electric saw can stop itself when detecting human tissues. Also, it could be used for interactive toys and package set check. For all these applications to be practical, however, the material sensing system should be mobile. Existing low-cost solutions, unfortunately, are not truly mobile. They usually need at least a pair of um, transceivers and, and use signals penetrating the objects. So they require two-sided setup or need to instrument the objects and therefore are not flexible enough for mobile environments. In this work, we asked the question, is it possible to identify the material from only the reflection signals measured by a single off-the-shelf radio? If yes, then we can have an easier setup for mobile scenarios. Different from penetrating signals that indeed interact with the materials inside, the reflection signals only touch the surface of an object. So how can we obtain useful information about the materials? Our key insight here is that just like different objects reflect light differently, different materials also reflect RF signals in distinct ways. For example, the figure on the right shows the diverse refraction property or properties of some materials. With this in mind, we present the design and implementation of MSense, a mobile material sensing system for ubiquitous environments. Unlike existing system, we explore only the refraction signals using a single 60 GHz millimeter wave radio. Our device reuses an L211AY networking radio by attaching an extra array to make it a radar. It operates at 60 GHz band and has 32 elements for each array. It uses a bandwidth of 3.52 GHz, which offers a range resolution of 4.26 cm much better than the 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. The device outputs CRR measurements. However, it is still challenging to estimate the material reflectivity precisely from the CIR, mainly because the range resolution is not, not, not good enough for material sensing. There are also measurement noises and synchronization errors over the CIR time series. To overcome these challenges, we propose a pipeline to process the CIR. First, we perform a subsample peak interpolation to improve the range of estimation to the sub-centimeter precision. We then leverage the direct leakage between the co-located transmitter and receiver to synchronize all the CRRs. We also employ noise consolidation to eliminate the hardware distortions and measurement noises and obtain the components that are only related to the target reflection. After this, we have the clean CRR and from it, we can locate the target and obtain the distance and CRR amplitude estimation and we will use those values for material uh, identification. We then devise a novel material refraction feature, MRF, that characterizes the material's reflectivity and accordingly associate the material's type. Using existing propagation model and refraction model, we define the MRF as a function of the received amplitude and the target's distance, which can be calculated from what we already have. The proposed MRF turns out to be independent of the environments, the propagation distance, and the object size and thicknesses, and so on. And that allows material sensing in mobile contexts with flexible setup. With that, we can construct a profile for each material and perform best matching to identify an unknown material. One point we'd like to additionally make here is the device orientation. Minor distortions in the radio orientation do alter the signal propagation but the impacts on the received amplitudes are negligible. This is an important property since it allows natural hand motions in mobile scenarios. Now let me show the evaluation results. We first evaluate on five common types of materials. The overall recognition accuracy is 93%, which remains as 90% for mobile cases, and we believe that accuracy is promising for everyday application. We also carry out a case study for 21 daily objects like tables and chairs, building materials, kitchen utensils, toys, and so on. And from the results, we can see that most objects of similar materials are correctly recognized as the same basic types, be it woods, be it woods plastics, 
or metals. Now let me conclude this work. We present MSense to demonstrate the feasibility of mobile material sensing based on the refraction signals with a single millimeter wave radio. We introduced a noble MRSF that characterized the target's refractivity and uh, thus identifies its material type. We prototype MSense by reusing a commodity city Yahoo's networking chipset as a radar and validate the performance in both static and mobile cases with common materials and data objects. That's the end of my talk. For more information, please refer to our paper. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you.